Today's the day. Hopefully she don't mind sharing her uh, cooler with some iguanas. Excited to find out if she's a record breaker or not. We have a uh, little dog training to do this morning. And then uh, as soon as we get done with that, probably around noon, I'm gonna be meeting uh, one of the state's biologists. We're gonna be measuring it out, weighing it, sexing it. I know it's a female. And um, seeing if she's an actual record breaker. Moment of truth. I've been hyping it up. The news has been hyping it up. Hopefully I don't look like an idiot. We'll see. Watch her turn out to be like 15 foot. I don't think so. <laughs> She's big. All right, let's get her on out of here, get her in the truck, and uh, get on her way. Ready? Okay, no. Oh, God. <laughs> These handles are kind of breaking. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna put my end in first. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. Ew, oh, my okay. God. I got shit going down my boot. Oh, oh gross. I should have gotten that one. Thanks, babe. Go grab the hose. How's yourself all? The juice got her. He'll be all right. Um, how do you want to do this? I guess just stretch her out here? Yeah. What I did at the house last night was kind of line her up with the edge of that. And I just put my tape on the edge. The edge of what? The pole. So once we get this big girl laid out, I mean, you can just really see how impressive she is. And uh, man, is she a true monster, for sure. They're impressive. Haven't seen one this big in a while. I like hearing that. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think she quite measures up to that one you got, but <laughs> yeah, hopefully close. We'll see. I don't know. Well, you want to just kind of work it out? And see yeah, yeah. I was going to um, try to even kind of put a little tension on her if we could. I don't know. If... I want to do some kind of balance between... You know, I want to get an accurate measurement. I, I got you. Stretch it, but I yeah, yeah, no, I, I hear you. Like, I think what we just did is pretty good. Yeah, okay. I think that's going to get like the maximum and true length out of it. Okay. <laughs> So the state official measuring the snake is really, really by the book. He's not letting me stretch her out, nothing like that. We're just measuring her as she lays. Super legit measurement, best you can get. And uh, I'm all right with that, but it's making me really nervous because I've hyped this damn thing up. I've been telling everyone she's a potential record breaker. The damn news has covered it as a record breaker. So I'm gonna look pretty damn silly if she's not. Let's uh, let's hope he don't make a liar out of me. Mm. What are you looking at? Gotta be nervous. I'm looking here. at. I'm not. I'm trying to figure out. All right. Yeah. 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 Y
Alright. The inch mark. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Killing me right now. 17-7. 17-7? <laughs> hey, it's a breaker breaker. I like it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Beautiful. So what, we got it by two inches? Yep. Yeah. Love it. Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get a picture of a stretch. So we got her measured out, and would you look at that? She's 17 foot, seven inches, and she is an official record breaker. Uh, I couldn't be happier, super stoked. Uh, you know, this is a big accomplishment for me. Largest python caught in the South Florida water management program so far. One of the many accomplishments I've been working for, um, you know, I just got the first nest for the program not too long ago, and now I just got the largest python for the program. It's a good feeling. Um, it's, it's a lot of hard work I've put in, and I truly feel like I've earned it. You know, killing myself out there on those islands, specifically looking for a big girl, and boom, I got her, you know? So, uh, super happy, couldn't be prouder, and um, it, it, it's a right. great thing. So we got the record on the length, 17 foot, seven inches, without pulling on her, without stretching on her. Super real, legit, as r real as it gets. But 90% of these other snakes can't say the same. But uh, now we're gonna go ahead and weigh her. And I'm expecting her to be definitely over 100 pounds. Hard to say how much. I I've been saying 150. Realistically, she's probably like more 130, but we'll see. So uh, let's throw her up there and see what we got. All right, 130, big girl, hell yeah. yeah. Good size snake, turned out to be 130 pounds, maybe a little bit over, nice and fat. We're happy. Get her back in the cooler and uh, get ready to skin her out. Not only is she a monster in length, she is a monster in weight. 135 pounds is, is what she weighed, and that is huge. That um, I'm not 100% sure, but that may be the heaviest python caught in Florida. Uh, she is a, a true monster, for sure. And I felt every bit of that weight when I was wrestling with her. I'm probably 135 you know, pounds soaking wet, so uh, it was a pretty fair fight. So now that we got her measured out, we got her weighed, everything like that, you know, I got my, my paycheck coming to me now. The work ain't over, it's just beginning. I gotta get her back to my ranch and now I gotta process her, peel that skin off, make use of that meat, and uh, even make use of the bones, you know. Um, I, I have jewelry made from the bones. This skin will be turned into um, usually beautiful leather products. In this case, I'm gonna be keeping it as a trophy and an educational tool. Uh, I do invasive species talks around the state of Florida, and this will be really cool for me to roll this monster skin out and show everyone how big these things can get, how dangerous they can be, and, and be able to you know have a show and tell for the story of me capturing this record breaker. Um, the head even, I'm gonna have freeze dried and uh, used as kind of a, a trophy and an educational display as well. The head will be lifelike. It'll look just like she did when she was alive biting me, uh, which I think will be pretty cool, you know? So for my head mount, I like to cut a little far back on the neck, keep skin on it here. So I'll start right there. Um, I actually messed up while I was cutting the skin off, getting ready to peel it off, I wasn't thinking, I was so worried about getting the video and everything else. I skinned her like I normally did most of these snakes, which I cut the skin around her neck and um, don't worry about keeping the face skin with the whole skin. I meant to keep her face on her skin with this one, 
but I just messed up and I wasn't thinking and it actually made me sick to my stomach when I realized I messed up. You know, this is a, a, an important snake to me and for me to make an error while I'm processing it is, is devastating. But luckily, I know um, a buddy of mine, all critters freeze dry and, and taxidermy. He's a specialist in freeze drying. And now that I've kept the skin on the skull and the head by accident, he'll be able to kind of take that and freeze dry it to make it lifelike to look like, you know, it did while it's still on the snake. So while, you know, I'm not gonna have the face on the skin, I'm gonna lose a foot off of the skin probably because of what I did, at least we'll be able to make up for it by getting her head freeze dried and having something really cool from that. What a bruiser. Whoo. I get to open up the stomach, which I've been waiting to do. Um, I wanna see what's inside of her, if she's got eggs, if she's got a large meal or what. Well, she didn't have any eggs in her, surprisingly. But boy, oh boy, did she have to take a dump, son. <laughs> oh my God. Looks like she ate the biggest raccoon there ever lived in the Everglades. And uh, she was getting ready to finish it up and dump them out. So the skin, the bones, and everything like that will make products. The meat is not for human consumption. It's just way too high in mercury when they're this size. Um, and it, it would just be like chewing leather. It's just way too chewy at this size. Six foot and under is a different story, but when they start reaching eight foot and up, it, it, it's really not good to eat, but it won't go to waste. Um, I'll be giving it to my hogs and other livestock as feed, and they'll gobble it right up. It just goes to show the devastation they're causing out there. They're not eating rats, you know? They're eating um, small mammals and even large mammals, and, and they're eating a lot to get that size. So, um, you know, it's very good we got her out of there and she won't be eating any more wildlife. All said and done, you know, this is um, another really big moment in my life that I'm super thankful for, something I can look back on and be proud of. And um, you know, it, it's just great for me to be able to come out here, do something I love, be good at it, and, and help the ecosystem and our state overall um, in the process. You know, it's extremely rewarding and I I'm, I'm, couldn't be happier. I'm the most blessed guy in the world.